Carotid artery stenting usually is a pretty straightforward procedure. The procedure done under local anesthesia, that means patient is awake, we are talking during the procedure and it takes our half an hour to 45 minutes to do it. But just like any procedure can have complications, even carotid artery stenting can lead to complications. Even if you take a medicine, even a crocin can have really allergic complication. So what are the major issues in which can happen during carotid artery stenting? So one of the problems there is there is a cholesterol deposit which is there. So once you are trying to open that area, a small amount of cholesterol may break off and grow into the brain and occlude a blood vessel in the brain and cause a ischemia there, a TIA there or a minor stroke or a major stroke. Something like that happening is nowadays very rare. The chances of major stroke is around 1 percent or less. So the doctor usually do this procedure under image guidance. That means when they are crossing that area, they can see the picture on the screen. So that when they are crossing it, they do not disturb the plaque. Secondly, we almost in all our cases, we use something known as a filter device which is a very fine mesh work like an umbrella which is placed beyond the stenosis. Even if something breaks off, it gets trapped in that filter, does not go into the brain and after the procedure, this filter is closed and taken out of the body. Before and after, we always do brain angiography to check that nothing has gone into the brain. Uh, if after the procedure, we something has really gone in, then there are other devices by which we can go into the brain and take out that broken piece so that it does not cause any major stroke to the patient. Another issue which can happen just not only stroke after carotid angioplasty and stenting is that in that wall of the blood vessel, there are receptors which help us to control blood pressure and heart rate in the body. Whenever we are doing any procedure, whether angioplasty or stenting or open surgery, the body does not know somebody is trying to open up the blood vessel. The receptors sort of feel that somebody has increased the pressure there. So as a reflex, they may reduce the blood pressure and the heart rate. Most of these patients within few minutes body learns that everything is fine and then bring it back and does not really matter. But as a precaution, we always do investigation of heart before doing this procedure. There are neuroanesthetists standing there which helps us to control the heart and blood pressure changes which may happen during the procedure and therefore in most of these patients, it does not lead to any serious complication. Another issue can be when you increase the blood flow into the brain, now brain is very delicate organ. Sometimes when suddenly there is lot of increased blood flow, brain is not able to tolerate it because this brain has not been receiving normal blood pressure for a very long while. So sudden increase in flow sometimes can cause swelling or even really hemorrhage during the procedure. For this also there are various precautions when we control the blood pressure, we reduce the blood pressure if need be. And therefore, in my own personal experience, having such major complications is very unusual. Lastly, the puncture site from the leg blood vessel where we have made the puncture, and then these patients are on high blood thinner, sometimes they develop local bleeding there, local swelling there or puncture site complication. Now, these complications also become much more uncommon because we can use something known as closure device. In a way, it is a major procedure of the brain, but in the current era, it is very simply performed in a very short while and it is very unusual to have any major complication in carotid artery stenting.